everybody, welcome back to Mom. Can I have another dollar? Today we're playing Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam, Spirits of Xeon. A, uh, That's the full actual title, he didn't stutter. It's Gundam, Mobile Suit Gundam, Spirits of whatever the fuck you said. <laughs> of Xeon. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a, uh, a first person shooter kind of arcade game. Uh, it's shit, actually so considered loud. a religion in Japan, and so it gets a tax exemption status, and also it's considered a terrorist offense to dislike it, so they can title their shit whatever they damn well please. Dude, they really yeah. do take Gundam super serious over there. They have a giant Gundam statue. Everybody already knows this. I don't know why I'm telling everybody. Sorry. Uh, there's, a, there's always a Gundam wing in every single Japanese embassy in every capital across the entire world. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the uh, National Defense Force. The Gundam yeah, pretty room. much. The Gundam room. All right. So if you ever, see. yeah, if you if you ever get to do like a field trip to a Japanese embassy, they'll make sure to set some time aside on the tour for the Gundam room. That said, <laughs> at the risk of visiting the wrath of the Japanese archipelago upon myself, it looks like they kind of were skimping on the budget for this one. Cause did it just fart? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pressing that... the wrong buttons. Oh, oh okay. I see. It's, it wants you, you to press it. Wrong. I thought it was it like a little times. comedy moment where he like he stops and farts in terror. <laughs> <laughs> it yeah, does sound farty. Much. I was like, wow, did Gundam find the same conclusion that we came to? Whenever there's a gap in the dialogue, just splice in a fart and it's <laughs> instant comedy. Oh, it, is that supposed to be your dude? Because you are clearly the villain of this game. <laughs> <laughs> As most games we play, yes, we're always the villain. Yeah, we, we've noticed that pattern a lot. Yeah. Solomon Grundy. It does say Solomon. I'm not sure what the rest of it says. The last symbol is battle. Um, the battle oh, cool. of right. Solomon Grundy. The yeah. battle. Oh. What in the fuck is this stupid, like, hamburger with a cannon? <laughs> cross, a ha cross it's a bread with a crab? I was going to say we... clam, but yeah, it's a clam burger. Dude, Nick, I think you're right. I think we are the bad guys. That's us. We are the bad guys. Yeah, definitely. A yeah, clam oh, yeah, burger with a little... bad case of rocket cock. <laughs> okay. Same to you, buddy. Fuck. I don't know what's happening. Well, it's a, it's a surprisingly lengthy cutscene for an arcade game, and it looks like the Persona 5 cutaways, you know what I mean? Oh, it does. Oh, it's no, made by Van Presto. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's to your credit, once again. <laughs> Nick yeah. is always oddly diffident when he's like, well, I don't know about Gundam and this, uh, Persona 5. And, yeah. He's like, what's uh, an anime? Catherine and shit. Yeah, I, I was starting to worry there for a second when I seemed to have the most knowledge on um, the villains of the Gundam shows, but uh, yeah, I guess <laughs> I redeemed right. myself by not knowing anything about Persona. Yeah, I mean, it's not like good or bad, it's just sort of the opposite of the usual way. It's like saying, well, I'm kind of embarrassed to admit this, but I've had sex with a lot of beautiful women, like frequently. <laughs> it's uh oh, really... I thought you were just going to say we've reached like the dark side of neutral. Oh, all right. Well, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, yeah. It, we can be that. And so, you know, you just you just removed like a fatty corpuscle from one of your slain enemies. I'm not sure what that was all about. <laughs> oh. Is this game full of symbolism like Silent Hill or, you know? I don't know. All the robots do have like crusader shields with crosses on them. I, I don't know. Like, yeah. could someone who knows about Gundam tell us, leave a comment and tell us what's happening? Actually, once, from, once from what again, I understand. We... Part. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was well, just going to uh, say, once again, we've uh, gone back into the realm of uh, space Muslims if we are oh. like, defending the Crusades. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we're, well, we're, yeah, we're defending ourselves against the Crusades. It's just like Power Rider or whatever the fuck that game is called. Anyways, yeah. no, uh, from what I understand, Gundam is basically Attack on Titan, but less grotesque. Okay. Uh, like, it's, it's bad Not guys in robots attack earth and then like a select number of good guys who are also good at piloting the robots defending well it's it. like a space civil war yeah. oh really yeah that that's more or less what it breaks out to is civil war shit like but you know they've kind of already defeated the law of uh, history God. wherein nobody really thinks they're the bad guys ah. but if you but if you are wearing you know what? that was the boss with skulls on them and they got like little demon horns coming out of them. You know you're the fucking bad guy, right? Yeah, <laughs> like that one British sketch about the Nazis and their skull. Oh yeah, and stuff like that. that was the bad guy. That was the last boss. Okay, let's do. Um, which I mean, which level, I, you guys? said they broke the law of history, but I thought you were gonna say they broke the law of God, and I was gonna readily <laughs> agree with you. The well, law I of man mean, yeah, and God. That that would keep along with the Crusades theme. 
Anime regularly breaks the law of God. I told you about the, the urinal with the weather girl. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, an old episode. I'm glad though. I can only vaguely remember what you're talking about. Well, just, uh, you know, it's the tip of the iceberg, basically. It's you basically... Know? He basically talks about how when you're taking a piss and like <laughs> the harder the piss, uh, the more like the uh, her skirt gets blown up in the video. Well, yeah. I said I was happy that I only vaguely remembered. Well, I'm yeah, I was I gonna leave the... it at that. I was prepared yeah. to change the subject, Kyle. You, <laughs> I needed no more details, you fuckers. You've destructed our innocence. I think your game crashed again. No, it's oh no, I hear sound. Oh, and it's funky. <laughs> uh, the funky is death rattle. Well, funky void. Imagine guys. dying and the last thing you hear is omnipresent funk music. <laughs> guys, I hear something down this dark hall. Something <laughs> funky. God damn it. I yeah. crashed again. Yeah, I think you sure did. I think you sure fucked up, Kyle. You have some editing ahead of you to do, boy. I know. <laughs> You're gonna leave in all these extensive black silences. And, uh, you know, if your death had a funk soundtrack, I'll, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> all I'm saying is not many people would expect that, except maybe Bootsy Collins, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready for pop culture references from 500 years ago? <laughs> funk uh, time passes more slowly than our time. Look at that I like how he's doing like a running man. <laughs> yeah, he was ecstatic to, to die. He was elubious oh, at the yeah, prospect yeah. of being gunned to death. <laughs> Gun. yeah. I like this. I like it. Let's go. Let's go. I also like faster. that it gives you little portraits of the dudes who are dying. <laughs> yeah, they like spared up, no up expense. In, up in the corners, he's like, watch no! me. I'm basically yeah. the opposite of a sniper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's, That's some like... good death. <laughs> Give me that <laughs> funk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they all hear funk music when they die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh oh. Oh, so did you die, Kyle? Is that what that was? We were just uh, a very detailed death process for the game. Yeah. Itself. Feel the funk or nothing at all. I didn't realize. Well, I mean, the two are conterminous <laughs> concepts. Oh, oh, a lot fuck. of them. Oh, shoot those little, uh, those little blue cubes to get more ammo and shit. Um, the uh, I didn't know the Gundam universe was so funky. I didn't. Yeah, man. Like of all things. I, I guess I vaguely it, remember that because like, it was inexplicably a lot of. Uh, a lot of shows back then had some some funky stuff in there. All culminating with Cowboy Bebop. Although Eureka Seven also had some funky ass music here. Then. Well, that's made by Bones, right? The, the company Bones. <laughs> I got a Bones for you. Uh, it was play, played on Bones. Funky <laughs> Bones. Oh no! <laughs> Did you? <laughs> well, gents, I don't think I'm gonna make it past this level. Yeah, yeah that dude like bones. slashed you in the face and then turned around to see if his buddies saw what a good job he did. Oh god. <laughs> uh, he realized oh, he was going to win and miss out on his funky Valhalla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that was Bubble Suit Gundam Spirits of Zeon. You don't get yeah. in if you suicide. You have to follow an honorable battle like a Klingon. <laughs> <laughs> That's how funk yeah, works. That's how yeah, funk it's like jihad funk works. Yeah, it's just like Valhalla. You have to uh, you have to die. You can't like get sick or anything. I imagine it like God. that little that old yeller from uh, China, Illinois, was like, "Welcome to funky heaven." Yeah. <laughs> well, most people are in hell. Yeah, but, uh, that's why uh, th that's why medicine advances to such great heights in uh, in this universe. Like nobody gets the flu and dies anymore because they know they won't make it to space Valhalla. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, yeah, that was the Gundam game. It was uh, pretty neat. Uh, pretty, well, pretty much a letdown on every possible front. <laughs> yeah, but join us next time on Mom Can I Have Another Dollar, where we venture further into uh, the funky beyond. And just play us out on some funk music, Kyle. <laughs> the ending theme song to this episode needs to be funk.